Hi everyone and welcome to my summer 2022 home tour. I hope today's video gives you some decorating inspiration if you are looking for some summer decorating ideas. I had so much fun decorating for summer this season and I did things just a little differently. So sit back, grab yourself a nice cold glass of lemonade or your favorite drink and enjoy today's video. Before we step inside, I want to quickly share the front porch area with you and I used the black and white colors that I already had out here with this sign and then the black door and my black bench and then I have a cute black and white bistro set off to the side and then I just planted some beautiful pink flowers. I used the geraniums and some potato vines off here in these pots and then I added some buffalo check pillows that I found at home goods and then I did find that bee pillow at Walmart and then the front welcome mat both of those mats were found at Target I really wanted to free up some space so I did this little mini makeover here in the entryway just recently and I love the way it looks so I wanted to keep it light and airy so I simply just added a summer candle and this one is the Georgia Peach Scent from Antique Candle Co. If you are new to my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's home tour. I love doing home tours. This is definitely one of my favorite types of videos to create for you all. I also love decorating. That is my passion. So if you love all that stuff, make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Moving on into the family room and I really wanted to incorporate lavender and that sandy beach colors of peach and creams and I think I worked these two in pretty well with the seashells and the lavender florals along with a little bit of that lamb's ear. And then over here I just have a screensaver up on my TV and I decided to go with the coastal theme. I recently painted my walls in alabaster white color and I am so happy that I did that. This room tends to get dark and I feel like it really brightened up this space. I love that I kept things very neutral here on the sofa as well with those throw pillows that are just different shades of whites and creams and I will leave items linked in my description box so if you are interested in where I purchase things I will have my description box below with a list of items that I get asked about most often so check my description box or please feel free to ask me down in the comments below I really wanted to give a little bit of contrast over here on this wall and break up a little bit of the white so I did paint my sconces and my chandelier. I painted them black and added some gold to that and I do have that in a video. I will leave a card up here if you would like to see the process and how I did that. I purchased these white shutters at Michael's several years ago. The mirror in the center was found at Hobby Lobby and then over here by my fireplace I have this beautiful floral antique fireplace screen and I found that at an antique store a few years back and I love it. I think it is so pretty and it's perfect for the summer months when the fireplace isn't being used. Thank you. 
Having your home beautifully decorated and keeping it clean definitely go hand in hand. And I don't always have time to constantly vacuum. I do have a dog and a cat and teenage boys, so it is a must that I have a robotic vacuum. So I want to thank Eufy for sponsoring today's video. I am so obsessed with this robotic vacuum. It does so much more than I ever dreamed of, and it's not like the others. Eufy offers the world's first twin turbine powered robotic vacuum. I love that it has the ultra packed dust compression, which increases the dust box volume utilization rate by 127%, so more dust can be collected than ever before. UP also cleans up 57.6% more pet hair compared to the single turbine vacuum. I absolutely love this feature. I can just turn it on and leave the house or I can keep it going while I am cleaning. This means less pet hair will be twisted into the brush. It has the best ability to deal with pet hair among all Eufy products. It also has iPath laser navigation so it can memorize your house environment, can quickly build a virtual map to follow for the most efficient cleaning route. A Eufy also offers an IA map technology with real-time map and it can be customized to clean your house. It has a remote control, voice control, floating roller brush, and a washable filter. I have used several robotic vacuums in the past and this by far is my absolute favorite. Once the auto cleaning starts, RoboVac moves from the charging base automatically scans to generate maps, intelligently determines its cleaning route, and divides the space into zones. The cleaning paths are planned along the walls, following a Z-shaped cleaning method to complete the cleaning of each zone one by one. Real-time mapping helps RoboVac to learn the correct cleaning path and the environment of your home very easily. A floor plan will be built after cleaning, the map will be updated in your real time during each cleaning session to ensure normal navigation. If you are in search for a robotic vacuum, this is definitely the one to buy. Go ahead and click the link down in my description box so you can get yours today. Just look at the before and after and I didn't even have to lift a finger. Moving along with the home tour, I really wanted to focus on the mantle area and make it very fresh and uncluttered and I felt like adding a planter box filled with some lavender florals would be perfect. I also wanted to bring in that beachy theme so I added this beautiful mermaid that I always add into my summer decor and a few seashells on the other side. This window here looks out to a brick wall and I really wanted to add something beautiful to look at. So I added a privacy screen that I purchased at Home Depot. It was so easy to simply add to this window. You just used water and then cut it to fit. And I do have a video, if I can find that, I will add that in here as a card. And then I just used some faux um, Italian cypress and just put those on a table just on the opposite side there was so there was something more beautiful to look at and then I used these glass doorknob tie backs over here to add a little bit of character and I believe I found those at home goods
I added more of those beautiful seashells over here to this container and then I layered it with a woven basket and placed some lamb's ear around just to give it a little more color and then over here on the sofa I have my neutral colored pillows the linen larger pillow covers I found on Amazon and those smaller velvet covers were found at H&M and I will leave those linked down in my description box I added a little bit more of that lavender over here to my china cabinet. The basket was found at Target and I did buy the lavender at Hobby Lobby and then I love that I added more of that sage color over here with the eucalyptus stems and I found that at Walmart. I also placed this cute little wreath here on the front of my doors and that was picked up at Hobby Lobby as well. I recently added these beautiful switch plates to all of my outlets and light switches and I love them. They are so pretty. I found those on Amazon and I will leave those linked in my description box. And I always love adding a beautiful fresh bouquet of flowers in my kitchen during the spring and summer months. I just think it just adds to the beauty and it always brightens up a room. Adding more of that beachy peach color over here to my island. I love these colors together. I think the lavender, the peach, and the sage look beautiful all together, but I also love how they look separately with that sage color as well. I added these beautiful florals to this basket. The florals I found at Hobby Lobby, and the basket was picked up at Home Goods.
I found this beautiful diffuser on Amazon. I painted it white and added that beautiful shabby chic applique. Right now I'm just diffusing some vanilla, magnolia, and roasted coconut essential oils. And let me tell you, my house smells like heaven. What kitchen windowsill isn't complete without a potted flower or plant? I decided to go with some lavender in these terracotta pots that I painted white and I picked up the pots and the lavender both at Hobby Lobby. Adding under the cabinet lights make a huge difference in your kitchen and I definitely needed some of these and I found these on Amazon and they have this little magnetic strip on the back and then you just add that piece here and you just use a double sided sticky adhesive backing that is already attached. So you just stick that to the top of your cabinet and then you um, just place it up on the top and the magnet holds it all together and it's so easy to just take down and replace the batteries when you need to do that. I found the salt and pepper holder on Amazon. The oil and vinegar bottles were purchased at Marshall's, I believe, and that cute little holder was found at Hobby Lobby. I always love replacing bottles and containers that I do keep out on my countertops and placing them in more beautiful, appealing containers instead of the original ones that they came in. I just feel like it makes everything look a little more styled to fit your personality and things just look more beautiful as they sit out on your countertop.
Moving on into the living room area and my office, I do not have an extra bedroom for my office, so I had to work with what I had, and I am all about details. I love that I added this middle wall piece here between the two panels, and then I also added some bookends or corbels up at the top by this window just to add a little bit more character. This sage colored sofa is by far my most favorite and beloved piece in my home. I love this sofa so incredibly much. I think it is absolutely gorgeous and it also has a piece of history to it as well. This sofa once belonged to Amelia Earhart and I will definitely cherish it forever. And if you know me, you know how much I love painting wood white. I will never touch the feet of this sofa. I love it. I think it is beautiful just the way it is. And then I decided to just add a little bit more of that coral peachy pink color over here with these beautiful pillows. And unfortunately, I do not have a link for those pillows because my mother made those and I don't even remember where she purchased the fabric. I really wanted to add a little bit more privacy to this window and I found these absolutely gorgeous white European style sheer panels on Amazon. Just look at the detail. These are so incredibly gorgeous and I love the look and that soft feel that they bring to this room. During the summer months, I love spending a ton of time outside. I really enjoy spending mornings especially and evenings out here when it's not too hot. And I love the space that I have created out here for my family and I. And we do enjoy this space so incredibly much.
If we are not spending time by the fire pit, we are definitely enjoying this little area here. I found these chairs online at Walmart, and then I picked up this table at Big Lots. This beautiful boho style umbrella was found at Cost Plus World Market. This secluded little space under the gazebo here, I have created just a cozy little seating area and I found this sectional at, I want to say I found it at Lowe's. I get asked about this sectional that fits perfectly around our fire pit all the time and where I found it and I did find it online on Amazon and I will have links to everything down in my description box. If you see something in today's video that you don't see in my description box or you have a question about something, please don't hesitate to ask down in the comments below. Well, that is it for today's summer home tour. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some decorating ideas or I hope that it just gave you a very relaxed feeling to sit back and watch how I have everything decorated. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And thanks again for watching. I will see you all in the next one. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.